All right, we're finally getting a minute to work to work a little bit with this photonics laser. Uh, got this X1 from them, and they're wanting me to try it out. Um, you know, I'm not one to just cut and weld plates on the table for nothing. Uh, I wanted to try to do something with it. So I've grabbed a saw blade. Uh, I used to have a guy that would sharpen these blades for me, but um, he retired and I haven't found anybody. So I've got a lot of these blades laying around. Uh, and I decided I was going to try and make something out of the blades. Uh, so I set the thing on cut to begin with. And I started cutting out these tomahawks that I marked on the on the saw blade and the way this laser uh is cutting it's cutting by way of uh, i'm using the steel mix shield gas uh it cranked way up with the laser tip and i set it on cut and i was able to cut out the tomahawks uh the way this uh the, the way this thing is when you set it on cut uh it cuts the material without any warpage at all. Um, you know, if you cut that with oxygen acetylene, you'd have a bunch of warpage. If you did it with plasma, you'd have a little bit. With the laser, I got none. There is no waviness, and those blades are pretty thin. So I'm looking at the tomahawks, thinking about what I want to do, and I realize that I want to cut a couple of them down a little bit smaller and then a couple of them down a little bit smaller than that and i'm going to laminate these five parts together using the laser welder as a as a welder after i get done using the laser machine as a cutting machine so uh, i got it back out here and i trimmed four of them down and this gives you an idea of what i came up with as far as this uh this tomahawk which i'm thinking this would be you know this is hard metal if it doesn't take all the temper out of it working it this could be a good scraper chipping hammer uh for welding because the obviously the metal that those blades are made out of is really hard so the next thing is going to be setting the laser welder up to actually weld and they did send me the wire feeder i've got 035 solid wire and a steel mix gas and uh we're gonna see what it's like to do some welding and uh, here right here you're you're witnessing my first ever tax with a laser welder i've been a certified welder since 1992 but uh this is the first time i've actually taxed something together using laser uh the first one that i did right here you can see how i got a little wavy uh i kind of went left and right uh, a few times where i shouldn't have and then I started to get the feel for my hand being on the thing, and I was having a little bit better luck getting centered. But what I was doing to get started was just tacking. Uh, I have two of them alike and another two of them alike, and I was tacking them together so that I could grind them into shape. With those pieces tacked together, I'm taking the grinder to them to get uh you know two of them that are even perfectly the same and then another two that are even perfectly the same the idea being that uh when i laminate these together and i will use the laser to weld this material um the saw blade will turn into a self-supported sort of a tomahawk hammer whatever i'm trying to come up with here you can see as the pieces get smaller uh that would make the end sharp Real quick t-shirt ad for the t-shirts that Boss Lady Tina's selling. Got the NBS welding on the front, American flag on the sleeve, and a big NBS welding on the back. Send Tina an email request at nbswelding at aol.com if you want a t-shirt. $25 plus shipping 
and uh, Tina will get you fixed up. So, okay, we're back here with the, with the laser and getting this thing welded together, um, as, assembling this with the laser welder. And the thing that I, I had the heat wide open. And the thing that I kept adjusting was the wire speed. Uh, so I did fiddle with that a little bit. And one thing I'm using here is, uh, as far as the gas is, I'm using a mixed gas. I'm using, you know, steel mix, like a 75% argon, 25% CO2. And other videos I've watched where they use the lasers, the guys would, would use uh, pure gases like pure argon or pure nitrogen, um, that might be better for the laser, although the only difference it's probably going to make is just in the appearance of the weld. Uh, I may uh, get a little bit more of a dingy look because my gas contains CO2. I, I'd have to try it with the pure argon or something to see if there's any difference. But uh, overall, I want to say if Laser Labs wants to work with me on this thing uh, and, and they give me any information as far as uh, setting you guys up with a discount as one of my followers, all that information would be like everything else. It's going to be in the description of my video. So if you go to the, if you're interested in buying a Laser, uh, a laser Lab X1 Pro, um, you could go to the information in the description of my video. And if there's a link, uh, or a promo code or whatever they give me, um, they talked about doing a 5% discount for my people. So you'd want to use that and use my link. If, uh, if they provide that, that's not information that I got right now. The information I'm trying to get to you guys right now is about, what it's like messing with this laser and the the one thing that we kind of talked about with the cutting uh there's absolutely no distortion like you get with a torch uh when you're cutting with the laser it just i mean you could i could cut one of these pieces out with a saw blade and probably pick it up uh, i could probably cut one of those pieces of that saw blade out and pick it up barehanded uh, it, it really doesn't heat the metal up, which is really amazing. Uh, the welding is pretty easy to do. Uh, it's something that I don't feel like once you get this thing set right, I don't feel like you would need near as much skill to drag this laser across something and, and make a little bead of weld as it would take to actually learn to weld with, uh, <clears throat> with some of the other processes. But the welds that this makes when I crank it up wide open are very small. So that's something to consider is like, uh, I would consider this, it's something that, you know, if you produce a particular product where you need to run a bead on, or if you're doing a whole lot of uh, tight fit and body work where the laser would be a big benefit because there's no metal distortion you know people that put patches on body work if you can fit those lapped patches really nice and and laser weld them you wouldn't have the warpage to deal with and that i would think on body work would be fantastic because Every other way I've ever seen body work done, you know, there's a whole lot more Bondo used just because of the fact that you've distorted the metal when you welded the patch in. Um, so that would be awesome. But, uh, you know, for repair work and fabrication, uh, if you do fabrication with this, you would have to fit your parts perfectly. It doesn't fill gaps very good. You know, these tiny little welds are, they're gorgeous uh, on tight fitting parts. But if you've got any gap or in, inconsistencies in your fit up, the laser welder just probably wouldn't serve you um, very well. And for repair work, you know, this, these machines are a lot higher cost. And for repair work, you know, you're not going to run into perfect fits and you're not, you're going to run into thicker materials and bigger welds. And I just don't think on like your automotive and truck repair type stuff, uh, bumpers and, 
and trailers and things that we you know we work on that we own i don't feel like this would be the key for that so it's kind of a niche thing and uh it's really really neat uh but here you know i'm <clears throat> kind of talking while i was showing you what i was doing welding this thing together uh i, I do feel like uh although setting it up might be a little bit complicated uh you know the it's like this is very computerized it seems uh but once you know if you get your settings where you, you get things set up the actual i'm just saying if you're computer savvy and not very skilled at welding this thing would allow you to produce parts just like a very skilled welder if if you have you know some tight fitting pieces that you just need to make beautiful welds on putting together these tiny little welds that you make when you drag this thing along uh, the laser welds are really neat looking little welds and uh, like i say with regards to welding skill when you get the wire speed and the heat set right and just pull this thing across something it it doesn't take i don't think as much uh as much skill as like forms of other forms of welding like when you stick weld or mig weld but you can see i did a lot of welding on this i, I wanted to run the machine uh and and i went all the way around everything here and this made me a, a tomahawk section that was about three eighths of an inch thick by the time i had put all of those uh pieces of the saw blade together and uh i think the laser would be the best as far as trying to avoid removing the temper from from that hardened steel and i it remains to be seen how much of the temper i removed with the cutting and welding but uh any other form of cutting and welding would have put a lot more heat into it than i did here and uh so i ended up taking a piece of three inch square bar or three eighths inch square bar and i cold bent it around itself um and then i fit it to my tomahawk so this would be my handle and i started welding and i wanted to do everything on this project with the laser but there's a part of the three eighths inch square bar handle there uh, that i wanted to bend and the way i had it put together i was not able to bend this part cold so i did end up uh heating and hammering on the part right at the base of the tomahawk which i don't think would put any uh measurable amount of heat into the the head of it uh, but it may have you know we'll see if if i've softened this hard metal a lot or not when i start using it my plan is to have something that i could use as a welding chip and hammer you know that's sharp on one end and and flat on the other so that it could be used for scraping uh scraping material and and scraping away uh you know the buckshot the the weld spatter that you get so this is what i came up with uh you know I, I wanted to use the laser but i i'm i just hate sitting there at a table burning uh flat bars you know with straight welds if if i'm gonna goof with a machine i would rather just try to make something with it and this was uh a decent use of uh a wore out saw blade that i wasn't sure what else i could do with so if it works good as a hammer that'd be great if it's really soft i could see about maybe trying to heat treat it and temper it i'm not very good don't have a lot of knowledge of heat treat and tempering but anyway uh this is what we came up with and the, uh i, I want to do some other video on the cleaning because this laser also does cleaning so that would be separate but uh i want to thank you all for watching and you know is this a thumbs up is it a thumbs down what do you think of the laser let me know and remember learn how to work with what you got 
That way you always have everything you need.